now this is number two question that we need to work out a manufacturer pays hundred thousand dollars to purchase raw materials he incurs another 25 percent on cost of converting raw materials into marketable commodity marketable commodity further lie includes markup of 40 percent on cost the manufacturer sells his output to wholesale wholesaler who incurs additional 30 percent in storage and transport cost the wholesale markup is 20 percent on cost required prepare or determine the vat payable by the manufacturer to the commissioner number two vat payable by the wholesaler to the commissioner so there are two categories here there is what the manufacturer is paying to the commissioner and there is what the old seller is paying to the commissioner so we engage on this question on the following way or in the following manner so solution So the best way to solve this question is to bring in the VAT account which will really help us in solving and computing for that purpose. So we have VAT account. Here we have input then amount then output then amount so our input is uh, a manufacturer pays which actually he purchased goods worth how much hundred dollars but we need to capture this in terms of VAT so in other words we are using bank so he paid how much to the bank in terms of VAT so the VAT amount here is how much they are charging how much VAT all right since we have not been given so let me and the VAT charge is 16% so 16% becomes our VAT value so 16 of 100,000 you get 16,000 so the input tax here will be 16,000 the output now our output entails different computation remember we have we have different categories of what has been spent so we have the hundred thousand and then the 25 percent on cost so 25 percent of hundred thousand is twenty five thousand and then we have the we have the what we have now let me do them down here 
so that we have a clear picture so um, the first one was on cost was 20 plus 25 percent so um, converting raw materials converting raw materials is 25 of 100 times 100,000 which is giving us 25,000 that is the value to be considered and then we have um, the markup price on marketable goods which is now the cost of all the processes is actually 100,000 plus 25,000 plus uh, 40 percent 40% of 25,000 40% of 125 percent so that gives us how much so 40% Forty percent. So you say one twenty-five thousand times forty percent gives you fifty. So plus fifty thousand. What do you get in terms of total? One seventy-five thousand. So this one seventy-five thousand, you subject it to. Um, you get in the one seventy five thousand get get your taxation value so eighteen so VAT will be eighteen no sixteen over a hundred time is 175 yeah 175,000 what do you get so let me see from my computation 175 time is 0 0.16 you get Twenty-eight thousand. So our output tax is twenty-eight thousand. This was paid to the bank. Twenty-eight thousand. So in the twenty-eight thousand, so what will be our tax payable? So output is more than the input. So you get tax or VAT payable. 28,000 28,000 so you balance the account so if the input is more the output tax refundable if the output is more than the input tax payable so we have VAT Payable. Which is how much? Twenty-eight. So it is eight thousand. Not eight. It is twelve thousand. So that is the VAT to be paid by the manufacturer. Remember, the first one is the VAT payable 
by the manufacturer to the commissioner. Number two, now we need to identify how much is the VAT to be paid by the by by the old seller. So number two is the VAT now to be paid by the old seller. Now how do we get that? So can we get the VAT to be paid by the old seller? So simple as this. Again we start. So the VAT to be paid by the old seller. So old seller purchased goods when was valued at how much? So our bank amount will be 28,000. That was the worth of the VAT. Then from there, further direction was given. And the further direction gives us now the critical information of how much will the old seller pays. The old seller incurred 30%. So again we come. So old seller incurred 30%. 30% on cost. 30% on cost. So 30%. 30% of 175,000. What do you get? So when you do 30% of 175,000, what do you get? One seventy-five. So you are getting fifty two thousand five hundred. So fifty two thousand five hundred plus one seventy five. Some five hundred. You get two twenty seven thousand. So this two twenty seven thousand we get now the profitability you add 20% on cost so the markup price is 20% on cost so if our markup price is 20% on cost so what do we get? So we are getting 42, 45,000. So 20% of 227,500. What do we get? So you say 227,500 times 22. So you get 4,500. So we are adding 4,500. So you come and say 1, 225, 227,500 plus 45, 45, What you get is So 225, 500, you get 
you get 270 you get 273 so you're getting 273,000. Now subject 273,000 to 16% of taxation. So 16 over 100 times 273,000. So what do you get? 273. Time is point two one six. You get forty three. So bank amount which was paid to the bank is forty three thousand six eighty. Balance the account. Again, we are getting refundable, no payable, VAT payable, which is how much? Forty three six eighty. So tax VAT payable is for the three six eighty minus twenty eight thousand. You get fifteen thousand six eighty. So this is actually the tax to be paid. Any question? So this becomes the tax to be paid by. This is by wholesaler. Mm -hmm.